Gideon's theory of structuration notes that social life is more than random individual acts, but is not merely determined by social forces. For him, human agency and social structure are in relationship with each other, and it is the repetition of the acts of individual agents which reproduces the structure. Agency, as Gideon calls it, is human action. To be human is to be an agent. Agency is critical to both the reproduction and transformation of society. For the micro perspective, we talk of agency. Agency is the, individual, it's the individual's abilities to make choices in society that are not uh, directed by anything but their own choices. It's so what we call free will. To sum up, it's the ability of a person to make their own decision. So it's a, an individual choice. For the macro perspective, we talk of structure. The structure is also known uh, as the social forces that exist outside the individual and which have an impact on the decisions that a person uh, will make. And actually, the structure has a bigger impact on the individual than the individual have on the structure. As a consequence, the structure plays an important role on our daily decisions. Three type of structures. Structures are the rules and resources embedded in agent memory traces. And agents call upon their memory traces of which they are knowledgeable to perform social action. Knowledgeability refers to what agents know about what they to do and why they do it. And Giddens divide memory traces, structures within knowledgeability into three types. The first one is signification, which means meaning, and the second one is legitimation, which means norms. Giddens sometimes use rules to refer to either signification or legitimation. An agent draws upon these stocks of knowledge via memory to inform him or herself about the external context, conditions, and p potential result of action. Domination, which means power, and Giddens also uses resources to refer this type. Authoritative resource allows agents to control persons. Various allocative resources allow agents to control material objects. And Giddens identify that force of domination and submission exists in the delegate power relationships. And his aim is to understand the power relationship as a form of interaction between the actor and the structure. In this interaction, resource can be used as a form of authority used trade by a boss and employee relationship. Okay, so let's now see how this theory is applied to the business world. So several elements uh, compose a structure in an organization. We have, for example, uh, operational capabilities, which are more common uh, resources, routine, uh, we also have dynamic capabilities and uh, things such as learning capabilities. But however, this structure is subject to evolutions through duality with agents in the company, which are the employees, for example. This duality can take place due to several reasons. For example, one of them being mergers and acquisitions. If on learning about the existing marketplace, the firm decides for a merger or acquiring another firm, it leads to reconfiguration of the organizational structure. This in turn leads to higher diversification, higher growth, sales, and eliminates competition, which allows the structure to gain more competitive advantage. Social systems diversity underscores the people's potential for agency. Everyone has some social power that they can exercise depending on the rules established. For instance, if one chooses to work late or go home to the family, either decision comes with some trade-offs and therefore 
It is upon the company to ensure that there is an acceptable balance that will reduce the unintended consequences. Besides, structuration advocates for continuity by learning from past mistakes. And this is central to survival in the dynamic business environment. A firm must update to the changing environment. It becomes imperative that a company must set aside resources to support social structures for the workers and establish institutional support system that cultivate a unique organizational culture. Making resources available and setting the rules to guide the utilization of the resources and the right norms would propel a company forward. When a corporation has a tailor-made culture, it tends to address most of the hidden problems such as demotivation, unreported tensions, and consequently improve productivity.